Hi guys, Matt here from Shaps Aquatics. So today we actually got a, a pretty exciting delivery, I suppose. It's been one I've been waiting on for a long time. Um, it's been well and truly overdue and put back and put back and put back. And it's actually the wrong species of fish that's turned up. Um, people that were organizing this shipment um, got a little bit um, stuffed around and when the fish turned up they were told that they could not get the Australian bass which we've been chasing for the last month and a half you can't get them until December because they won't ship them up because it's too cold up here and they won't breed them because it's too cold in Melbourne where they get bred so we actually have a golden perch at the moment so instead of getting 50 we've actually got a hundred so we're about to do the unboxing for that and um, then we'll get on to acclimating them and getting them into the big thousand litre tank. So we'll just flip the camera around and we'll get on to this unbo unboxing. So just bear with me for a second. So guys, there's supposed to be a, a hundred fish in here um, according to what's labelled or what was labelled on the front and on the docket, docket that was given to us. So we're about to find out. And see how these guys pack. Okay, it looks like they're packed in one big massive bag, which is double bag by the look of it. All the little guys. Okay, we'll just put them back in the box here. Don't like to squash any in the corners. Get out of the corner. Oh, oh, get out of the corner. Okay. Definitely looks like there's a hundred in here. It definitely looks like there's a hundred in here. As you can see, they all look all pretty healthy. They all look to be about in the bag, they look to be about an inch and a half, um, inch and a half long, so I'll get them in this um, 80 litre tub over here and we'll start acclimating them. I'm trying to be careful guys not to um, sit the bag down on the ground because I don't want to catch any fish in the corners. So we are just going to do the whole plop and drop of the whole whole bag here. Um, Try and get these guys out of the corner as we as we pull them in. Now it looks like barely any of them come out of the corner. So a little shake. Make sure they're all. All out of the bag. Definitely double check on the bag. It's taking too long for these guys to turn up to lose any. Okay, so it looks like there might have been about 20 kilos of water in that box, which is probably why it's so damn heavy. We'll just get a siphon going here. And we'll dribble the new tank of water into there. Um, probably is a little bit faster acclimation than, than most people would like, but I'll probably let the acclimation go for a good half an hour or so. Um, I'll just try and clean this up and slow it down a little bit. Try and leave that about there. So I might have to find a, might have to find a peg here and and squash this tube down so we have a, a lot slower acclimation process. Um, but all the fish look, seem to be seem to be healthy at the moment. Um, I'm sure we're going to lose a few and whatnot, but um, we'll we'll see how they go. Um, and 
We'll get back to you very shortly when we have finished the acclimation process. So guys, um, I just thought while well, we're waiting for the for the golden perch here to acclimate, or the yellow belly, I think there's a few other names that get called, but he's definitely a golden perch. I thought I'd just get a couple out and throw in this little jar I've got. It is a two litre jar, so there is plenty of water for these guys to swim around, and I've only got four out. Um, I just thought I'd throw them in here, just to show you guys what they actually look like as a fry. So, um, they've definitely got the, got the shape of, of a perch. Um, as they grow bigger, their, their top dorsal spines and that on their fins will get quite sharp and they will get a, a fair set of um, gill rakers. Their mouths do open up fairly big, so basically whatever will fit in their mouth will be eaten. So, um, they are going into a tank with a, with a goldfish that's about five inches, between four to five inches long. So these guys, will, I'm only going to grow them up to about four inches long, four to five inches long. And they are, at the moment, so guy right here in front that seems to be spotlight of the camera. He is about an inch to an inch and a half. So. 2.5 centimeters to 3.5 centimeters long roughly which is the size I said they're going to come so I was expecting that so I do have a nice slow moving goldfish in the tank so these guys won't become food become food but should be fast enough and well equipped to swim away and eat just about everything else that's in the tank so um, I will be dropping in um, live mosquito larvae um, I've been growing them in ponds. Um, I've been growing. Um, I've got an influx of cherry shrimp, and that that aren't the right colours. That are um, they're throwing the wrong type of reds and stuff like that. So do have an influx of those. So um, I will be dropping some of those in just to to thin out. Thin at those and these guys respond really well to live foods as well so they're a little bit big for um the traditional live foods so i have to go with the more native ones so um mosquito larvae um and other tiny fish fish fry and those sort of things these are a predatory fish <laughs> sorry about that guys um i was filling up a a 90 litre tub that I'm going to put a couple of these fish in, actually probably these four here, into to grow out separately from the rest um, because I'm going to keep a couple for myself. Um, and just watch them grow out. So we'll put them into a into a tub where I'll be able to easily um, catch them out and show you guys, and I'll be able to film them eating in that in the tub a lot easier than it will be to feed show them feeding and eating in the in the thousand litre. Um, I will move them into a four foot tank um, once I get it set up and cycled. So yeah, I'll... Okay guys, so there we have it, they're all in there, so I'll just get the camera now and I'll show you that they're all, all there, so I hope you'll put down the, in the comments on how much, there we go guys, they're all in, so I hope you put down in the comments on how many there actually were, because like I said we have one nice big goldfish there, 
and we have a lot of nice driftwood, some Velosteria, thin Velosteria, the jungle valve, um, and as you can see they're all, all now sitting in underneath uh, box gas, box gas, box gas, box gas, there we go. They're all sitting in there underneath the, the rocks and the logs and around, around everything. Um, we've got two, two canister filters on this 2,000 litre. And to ensure that the water quality is quite quite nice. And um, as you can see, some tan tan yeah, tannins are being released from this um, driftwood. This is a strain, um, either red gum or yellow box, or red box, I think it is. As driftwood, it's a nice Australian hardwood. Um, it's been cleaned and thrown in the tank, and it's finally finally sunk. To go back to my first video on setting up this tank for Australian bass, which I'll link in the cards. Um, you can see I had a bit of a, a balls up with the driftwood. It didn't sink when I first put it in. Um, so now it's sunk. It's taken over a month, month, so it's sunk now. So one of these driftwood pieces will actually go into the four foot aquarium that I'll put a couple of these guys in um, to grow up. and. And yeah, so the tannums will do these fish, fish good. Um, they do have natural tannums in the water in the wild, so they're primarily living rivers and, and streams and stuff like that, and dams and that in the wild, so these guys will do quite nicely in here. Um, and we'll give them a, an hour or two to settle in. There's it was banging crash everything. We'll give them an hour or two to settle in, then we'll come back and, um, and feed these guys. So there you go. That's um, the 1,000 litre tank finally set up. And finally have fish in it, even though they're the wrong species. They were supposed to be Australian bass, but we ended up getting... Uh, sorry about the light there, I was just trying to find a spot where it's not blurry. Um, so they were supposed to be Australian bass, but we ended up getting 100 golden perch. So I, I believe that's a that's a pretty good, pretty good swap. We're only supposed to get 50. We have over 100, including the four here in this little little tank here, which is going into this tub down the bottom. Um, there was actually 119, so we're only supposed to get 100. We got 119, so if a few die, which I'm expecting at least some to die because surprisingly none died in transport, which extremely stoked about. Um, these guys did drive up from Melbourne this morning. So I left it very early in the morning because it's about 12 o'clock here now. It's about an eight to 10 hour drive. So these guys left very early in the morning and they've gone from the farm straight to here and straight into another tank. So we're extremely stoked to finally have them here and I'm extremely excited to um, show you guys these these growing up and um, what they turn into and I'll post a couple of photos um, up now and on the thumbnail which is probably already seen because you've clicked on the video so yeah we'll post a, cu post a couple of photos of what these guys look like as they grow up and what they're supposed to look like when they're grown up um, so yeah I hope you guys like the video and if you want to see more of these little guys make sure you like and subscribe and ring that little bell for all future notifications on videos I post and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.